so much wind, wind noise. Hi, I've been thinking about the thermal design of this drive and uh, they tend to overheat if left on for too long. And also, as you can see, this is not a uh, good arrangement because you shouldn't uh, put them on top of each other because then uh, you block the air breeze that uh, or the air convection that happens. One can wonder why Commodore wanted to do that and not add a fan uh, well, I've read somewhere that uh, they were concerned about getting um, dust build up in here in the dry mechanism, and if you have a floppy in there, you don't want uh, air coming over the drive uh, and um, and getting dust inside the disc. So, uh, but I do want to add a fan on. Uh, that's something many do because uh, let's say uh, I forgot to turn this device off when I leave and uh, this uh, green light is easy to see now but on the other drive uh, it's not that easy maybe I can just swap the LED or something man. but I can forget it if I leave the house and uh, I forget to check it and uh, so I was thinking okay I want a fan but I don't want it to spin all the time so what can we do then? This is from a microchip company, a device called TC6282 and that's a um, thermostat. This works though, but then we, we will get like a slow cooking <laughs> sous vide. So you can so slow cook your drive. Uh, I can get my drive, uh, fan to turn on after like an hour if I know how uh, what temperature there is after an hour and then it will stay at that temperature because it's thermostat but why do that uh, what about the timer and I was thinking uh, what about turning on the fan after 30 minutes or so and then lay letting it stay on for uh, ever until I switch off the power so yeah, I think that's better. The only problem with this is that uh, if you turn off the power and on again, let's say your power cycling, then uh, then you have to wait another 30 minutes. But uh, and then I don't want, don't get that uh, dust build up when I use it. But if I forget to turn it off, then uh, okay, then the fan turns on now. So um, I've been looking at some uh, <laughs> classic ships, some uh, CMOS logic ships and there's um, 4040 40 and 4060 when you turn on the disk drive then after some time 30 minutes or 60 minutes then we want the fan to start and therefore we also want the clock to stop if we, <laughs> because if you don't stop the clock then after um, a while the fan will turn off again and then we, you will st oh, start over again so so we want to latch it
for the fan delay, I need a device that can hold time, and uh, the CD46 is a 14 stage Ripple Carry Binary counter, and uh, basically what a uh, what one stage does is that uh, when you get one pulse in, and in this case that the pulses are coming in on a clock input, uh, on the next on the first stage you get half the pulse allowed. So uh, so for every stage the number of pulses is halved. So in this case it's a 14 stage triple carry binary counter <laughs> and therefore um, you can divide the input by 2 powered by 14. So this device has a feature that you can have a uh, RC clock input and that's what I've uh, got here. You see the capacitor and the resistors that makes uh, the frequency on the input. And then uh, usually when you have a rising in clock or a, a falling clock that needs to be fast because you can have noise on it and then uh, you can get false uh, counts because of the noise. So therefore they have something called a Schmidt trigger here, and that takes care of that. Uh, yeah, and this one above here, this is the little brother, or the 4040, and this is a 12 stage uh, counter. And here you can see they, you can tap out all the uh, pulses wherever you want, in whichever stage you want but you can't do that on this um, 4060 though because you can't tap out here though in the first stages but you can tap out the last one if you want to divide it such that you get uh, one hour delay then uh, you can set the frequency here such that uh, it has to count to 3000 600 seconds and then there will be a change here after an hour so yeah uh, that's what I'm going to do the fan here is connected to a uh, N fan transistor and uh, that one controls the channel for the current to pass through and the channel in is also connected to and let's connect that for fun we can connect it to the clock so you can count how many pulses uh, that uh, goes so let's start that so now the fan is turned on and off by the clock by the pulses of the clock and it will do that 32 times before the clock stops and now the clock has stopped counting and uh, if I now connected to stage uh, 5 sorry here 5 now uh, we have 32 pulses coming in and then it stops because uh, the way it's uh, configured and then for every stage the counting is halved so it is 32 then it will be 16 uh, 8 4 and two pulses here so uh, yeah so actually we are connected to stage four not five sorry yeah so let's start it and count the pulses nothing happens and there you have the first pulse and there you have the second one and then it should stop counting and so it does. So uh, let's move this uh, to the next stage. Uh, actually, this is stage six, not five. And you can hear the fan is now running. So let's see what happens here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. 11, 13, 12, 13, 14. So it's about 14 seconds before it starts. And uh, from 
stage 6 to stage 14 you have about uh, is that like seven seven stages let's see one two three four five six seven it's eight stages so if it takes 14 sec seconds and take two pi uh, powered by uh, by eight then uh, then you should get about an hour of delay so that's what I'm going to do, and you now we can hear that the fan is running forever also, so that's exactly what we want, we want to delay it startup, and we want it to run, so, yeah, until the power is shut off, so that's great, so now we also have to move the the diode here to the the 14th stage, and that's pin 3, so that's easy, we just move this one to, to pin 3. And then the um, the MOSFET channel is also moved to that pin. So that's uh, basically it. But now I want to make this into a compact circuit such that I can um, make it in line with the fan. And I will use uh, shrink wrapping. So it will become uh, this circuit will become a part of uh, the cable. Yeah. This is the circuit, and it's very simple as you can see. You can see the fan is switched on and off with the transistor, and you have the diode there from Q14 going back to the clock input and holds it. And you also have some reset circuitry, such as this device will start. Device will start in a uh, known state. Anyway, uh, it's very simple and. And I have drawn the IC here, and uh, here's all the pins on it, so it's uh, the same thing, and... Uh Can you hear me? Yes! There's some extreme weather here. I can't even hear myself speaking. Yes. 
over here. So much wind. Wind noise. Okay, that was an interesting experience.